Hello and welcome everyone to the Powder Toy. So the last time we were playing around with weather and we managed to make a really cool snow vortex. Now I was thinking about a few facts. First off, if ambient heat is off in the Powder Toy, things can only transfer heat by touching each other physically. Second is that the vortex leaves a gap in the center where technically no matter should be thrown in. Third, it would be cool to put a plasma vortex around the earth without killing it. <laughs> so we're going to try to do just that. We're going to try to make a plasma vortex and uh, put earth right in the center and see see if we can uh, do it without earth being absolutely destroyed. It's going to be very fun, very exciting, and definitely not at all deadly. There's going to be a few little challenges, such as the fact that Plasma does die over time, so we may have to make a bit of it for this to work. But have no fear, your favorite YouTuber is here with ideas to make it work, such as seeding it in each of the four points. Then all we have to do, because it should be a, uh, should be a vortex, we just have to go in the four directions and hope that we can pull the plasma around in that direction without it going into the center, so let's see. Um... Alright, and when I light all of them, we're... kinda... Oh! Oh! Oh, wait a moment! <laughs> it's it's kind of doing it! A little bit. These ones are kind of turned... No? Uh... Hmm... Alright, I almost... Oh, God, look... Those two actually form together pretty well. Okay, let's go ahead and rather than doing that, we'll uh, give it a little bit more of a... A uh, little bit more of a direct shot to the next one. See if we get some improved behavior here. Oh, I forgot how big this planet is. That's going to make it a little bit more challenging. Alright, let's plop that right in the middle. So we need... To do some tests now and the the planet is definitely not going to survive this so i'm just going to name this centered planet <laughs> not going to publish it because stealing is bad and we're going to put a single thing a clone here now the gravity should pull it in we just have to get it's kind of like orbiting we have to push it hard enough that it won't fall back onto the planet uh, but not too hard so it'll escape you know Okay, so let's go ahead and get our plasma. Turn off ambient heat, so this shouldn't hurt. Okay, the fact that it's like going towards the cities uh, actually would in fact hurt it, but that is happening because of gravity. And uh, as we know, we are going to murder gravity, so that shouldn't be a problem soon. Or we're not going to murder gravity, we're just going to put a force to counteract it. So if I do this... We are pushing the plasma out. It caused a little bit of damage, but as you can see, it's getting curved by the gravity down towards the planet. However, it's, uh... It's going a little bit too fast and it's escaping. So what we need to do is we need to balance this. We need to balance it, give it just enough velocity. Just enough velocity that it curves... around. The issue is... If we give it less velocity, holy moly! If we give it less velocity, it uh, it dies too quickly. Okay, that that actually does seem a little bit more stable. And then this guy is gonna aim a little bit more in this direction to try to. Okay, now you're gonna have to aim a little bit more this way. It's the only way this is gonna work. This, this is, this isn't even playing with fire, this is playing with plasma. Which is much more dangerous. Come on, baby. I just, I just need you to be a stable... Ugh. We're really doing a lot of damage to that side of the planet, but I don't really think there's much else I can do. Oh, you know what I could do? I could create a very... I could create a slightly defensive amount of fans here that just keep it from hitting the sur- <gasps> You know what? That would be kind of smart 
if I created like a tube. Would that work? Is that even possible? I'm not even sure if that's possible. I mean, this has a lot of velocity. If I were to squeeze it... Man, this is just causing a lot of issues now. This planet is about to go kaboom. I mean, it looks like it may actually be doing so. It looks like that first flare out. Oh, and we can see the water from the planet all got yeeted as well because of the pressure. But that's fine. I'm not too concerned about that. Oh, but it did hit the planet. Mmm, there's just, there's too much turbulence. I, I feel like if this planet was, like, flat, it, we would probably have a lot less turbulence, but... Yeah, so because the planet has, like, divots and stuff in it, it's causing this really, really weird turbulence. If there weren't cities, which I guess is going to be fixed by me, accidentally. Hmm, how could I fix this? Okay, so my simple solution is to put a massive dome over the planet. <laughs> now, before you call me Stephen King, I just want you to know that this dome goes over the entire planet. So, it's not... It's not as bad, right? Alright, so my massive will make it quartz dome, which will actually help to protect Earth as well. I think it has to be a little bit thicker for the physics to actually recognize it, so let's go ahead and uh, bulk that up a little bit. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> now we get a little bit of training wheels as well, because we don't have to worry quite as much about the fact that we could, in fact, kill all of humanity, because the plasma won't immediately strike the Earth. Uh, we get, get a little bit of buffer. Let's go ahead and do this again. Let's go ahead and get our clone. Now, my hypothesis is, because this is now legitimately a, uh, just a perfect circle, I think, again, think, that there should be less turbulence. Because math. We'll go to the pressure display to see if this is true. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this here, pull this here. Now, there may still be some issues because these aren't all perfectly equidistant. Um, but I'm going to ignore that problem because that's going to be challenging to fix. Uh, I think the circle made it easier to get an equidistance. Oh, okay, so we already broke the quartz. Um, so maybe I'm going to grab my delete tool and just help out for these first few seconds while the thing gets warmed up. It takes a little bit for the pressure to balance out. Oh, man. Okay, you know, let's just delete all the plasma and wait. Let's just give it a moment to begin doing its thing. Do we have turbulence? That's the question. Yes, is the answer. This is not stable. You can see it fluctuating. Even if I hit equal equals and just restart it, you can see it's not stable. <sighs> Even more worrying is the fact, ignoring the fact that the crystals are growing, is the fact that the pressure is actually getting inside of the planet. So, um, what gives? <laughs> We'll just fill it with titanium for now, for testing purposes. Does this help get rid of the turbulence? No. No. What if I put walls on the entire simulation so that we can't just have it run away? Oh? Uh... Uh, it's... Oh, see, that... That is just concerning. 
I don't know if there's a proper way for us to deal with this problem. I, I want to surround the world in a ball of plasma, but the game is giving me a hard time. It could be because it's not balanced. Let me try to simplify this, right? Maybe if I try to simplify this and only have the four fans, and then maybe I can try to give them the exact same power. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. A single block of power. 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 I don't think the walls are helping. I think the walls are actually making it work. Okay. Is it... Are we getting some growth in the pressure? We are. Okay, this is a little bit promising. This is a little bit promising. If I get rid of the walls, will it kill it, though? No. Okay, wait a moment. I think we may actually have something here. Let me add something, just a tiny bit of knowable, just to trick. Oh! Oh! Wait a moment. We, we may have something, folks. We, we've had several particles make it in the full loop without touching. Without touching the surface. A few little particles do hit the surface and lose speed. But this is the, uh, this is the best we've had yet. You okay, know, I'm curious, if I remove this, does it kill it? No! Okay. So now let's try it with plasma. <laughs> there it go- <sighs> No! Is plasma- uh, It's gotta be because of the- Ah. Uh, plasma's just harder to deal with. I mean, that's close! It's so damn close. If I put it at the top of this, it's it's so close. It just it needs a bit more power. Plasma just... It needs a little bit more... A little bit more. Oh, uh, but that right there is... It really almost perfectly makes it around that edge. If I just cloned that on the other side, it would almost be a complete loop. Ah! Ah! Okay, um, you know what? We're making progress, though. So let's try doubling this. So, one block, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One block, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One block, and one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. One block and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This should increase the amount. Yeah, we can we can definitely see. But for some reason, the pressure zone over here is just less. I don't know. It's a little bit weird. We have some like gaps. Now the pressure is higher now, and we can see there is no turbulence. There's no red, unbalanced bit coming in here. So that's actually very good. And that means we can return- oh, there is a tiny bit. There it goes! Ah! Not much, though. Occasional tiny bits of turbulence. But let's test this with Noble Gas. Noble Gas, actually, we get going beautifully around in the full circle. At least a bit of it. Not all of it, but... Ah, quite a bit when it... See, the issue is the turbulence makes it a lot harder to predict. Um... We attempt this with plasma. We get... I mean, it's closer than last time. It's actually making it to the top. 
very close to the top. I may, I may need more time to pull this off perfectly. However, I think if I put... If I put right now... Um, if I grabbed clone... And I put it here... And here... I think I could make a pretty convincing plasma ball around the planet. Not perfect, but, but somewhat convincing. If I turned on fancy display, and it's not it's not really destroying the planet either, which is nice. I mean, ah, it's close. And then you're gonna say, well, Spike, if you're going to do those, why don't you just do those as well? Yeah, yeah, I could. I just I feel like it's kind of cheating. Um. <sighs> thing is, I feel like we could make it a perfect one as well. Part of the imbalance may actually be because one of them is having the gas added, which does make the pressure change a little bit. Um, I don't know. There may just be a better way to do this. Let's go ahead and get rid of the uh, capsule around the planet and see if it survives. I mean, that would be neat. Even if it's not perfectly a, a circle, if we can make it without the planet getting absolutely destroyed. Although, I think now that we have the valleys and hills and stuff, we're going to start getting serious turbulence again. I think that perfect circle was helping a lot. Or maybe not. Wow. We're actually getting... Okay, so the steam coming off is blowing this one away. And that is causing the entire thing to go off. No! Oh, uh, but for a few moments there, it looked like it was going to be pretty damn good. Hmm. I feel like I could make this work on a smaller scale. Just on a large scale like this, it's just challenging. There's more research to be done here. But for now, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And we can always solve the problem by ignoring it and making all the plasma beams go directly into the planet. See? Now there's no planet to worry about in the first place. No, you're not crazy. That did just go down just so that it could go back up. It's 12.43 a.m. I'm editing it. Yeah, support me on Patreon. Thank you. I need to sleep. Love you all. Appearance are cool.